A university lecturer is in police custody after allegedly beating his wife to death on New Year's Day. Dr. Frederick Onyango Ogola also faces accusations of attempting to cover up the murder. Well, NTV's Steve Juma spoke with the accused who has denied the allegations, claiming that his wife died of a heart attack. What started as a domestic quarrel between a man and his wife in their bedroom on the first day of the year turned tragic as the 29-year-old woman lost life at the apartment in Lovington, Nairobi. This according to police documents. The deceased husband, Dr. Frederick Onyango Gola, a lecturer at Strathmore Business School, is the suspect. He was taken to Kibera Law Court but did not take a plea as police sought for custodial orders to allow for further investigation in the death of Margaret Gobi Mwachongo, who was left behind a seven-week-old baby. Police say the incident happened on January 1st at 9 a.m. The report indicates that the couple had a plan to go on an outing, but the man of the home cancelled the trip after receiving a phone call. Police believe that the phone conversation did not go down well with the now deceased wife, who demanded to know the caller, and then a physical fight ensued. The deceased is reported to have sustained serious injuries and lay unconscious in their bedroom for over five hours before she was taken to MP Shah Hospital and later on Aga Khan University Hospital where she died. It's very unfortunate that Baker has passed on. This is a, a woman that I've loved. A woman when has... NTV got to speak to Dr. Ogola, he denied the allegations. And the picture he paints of what transpired on the fateful day is different from what the police records reveal. There was no fight. This was a play. I've told you a normal play. I, she asked me, Fred, what's your program? I told her that my program is to drop the letters. Then when uh, I, she told me that you are not going, I told her, how will you stop me? Then she told me, let me show you. Then she just gave me a push. I know. When a woman pushes you on falling to a bed, you don't resist falling. So I fell, then she sat on me, trying to remove the phone from my pocket. Then I told her, sweetheart, you're going to break my, you're going to, to, to try my pocket. Then she told me, uh, don't worry, I'm going to show you that I can actually get the phone from your pocket. And in that process, she made an, I had a exclamation, aha, and she fell back. And this was on the bed, at the lower and the edge of the bed. So I thought that that was a joke because she was playing. This was a play. Then I ran out of the bedroom, rushed to send the letter, and then I called the house help to ask her whether Becky is taking care of the, or, uh, up, taking care of the baby, and she told me no. Then I rushed back. I found that she was still down where she had fallen, and I rushed her to hospital. Further, the suspect stand accused of not informing his in-law about the incident. More suspicion is being raised of an allegation of him having booked for the post-mortem to be carried out and further planning to have his wife's burial happen Wednesday at Langata Cemetery. It was happened. She was resuscitated twice. The suspect was arrested at their Lovington home. He is currently detained at Dagoretti Police Station. Steve Juma, NTV.